top five exercises to resolve that pesky low back pain, that pain that won't go away no matter how much you seem to stretch it. My name is Dr. Grant Elliott, and we've helped thousands with low back pain, disc herniation, and sciatica fully recover through our one-on-one online coaching program. And this muscle that you feel all the time is called your QL muscle. It stands for the quadratus lumborum. And for whatever reason, so many of you find this to be that pesky thorn in your side, literally, that just won't calm down and leaves you agonizing almost every day. So here's what you're missing. First, when you look up this muscle, you see all these different stretches for it. You'll see this doorway stretch. You'll see these stretches where you can sit and lean to the side, all these different stretches for that QL muscle, but you'll find temporary relief. It'll feel good in that moment, but it always seizes up. It always comes right back. Now, why is that? Well, most of the time, a tight muscle is a weak muscle, but this particular muscle is involved with much more than just an ordinary muscle. This muscle attaches from your hip to your spine to your ribs. It is a part of spinal stabilization, yes, but it can be very much so involved with uh, interacting with your, your diaphragm and how you breathe, how you stabilize your core. It will lock up and compensate if you have poor breathing patterns or poor stability patterns. Maybe you're hips aren't functioning ideally. It will compensate for those as well. So there's multiple areas at play that should be addressed as well. But the big piece of the puzzle I'm going to give you today is the fact that stretching it over and over and over and expecting a different result is likely not going to get you anywhere different. So I'm going to give you my five-step process to trying to eliminate any tightness around this muscle so that you can get back to living the life that you deserve, doing the things that you love and doing all of it without pain. So the first exercise we're going to do, lean against an elevated surface. It could be the height of a bench or a table. Get in a side plank position. Now you're going to allow your hips to dip down towards the floor nice and slow and then bring them back up. This is stretching and strengthening that QL muscle at the exact same time. As you go down, you're performing a slow eccentric motion. And then as you come up, it is a concentric contraction. Now for some of you, this might look intimidating. If you have a really sensitive low back, it might look like too much. It might feel like too much. So remember, you can regress or progress to the degree that you feel comfortable. Also, I encourage you to perform this on both sides as it's good to just equal out the strength in all places. Now, if you're someone where this feels like a little bit too much, a simple regression here is by simply standing up and leaning against a wall and then performing the exact same motion. Yes, it will not be as challenging, but everyone starts at different places. So this is our hip dip, if you will, that can provide a lot of relief in this particular muscle. Exercise number two is our suitcase carry. This is a classic, but I love it. You're going to grab a weight of any kind. It can be a dumbbell, a kettlebell. It can actually be a suitcase with weights in it. It can be a gallon of water, whatever. You can get fancy here, depending on what you have available. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold this weight in the opposite hand of the side that you have tightness on. So if your left lower back is tight, you're going to hold the weight in your right. If your right lower back is tight, you're going to hold the weight in your left. What's happening here is your body wants to fall towards the side of the weight, but the opposite QL is contracting and is pulling you straight so you can remain nice and tall. Now you're simply going to walk back and forth for 30 seconds in a controlled manner, remaining as tall and straight as you can. And I do advise once again, performing this on both sides. This is a phenomenal movement to stabilize your overall core, to help you feel stronger and more stable in a unique way. Now the third exercise here actually isn't a strengthening movement. This is a partner assisted soft tissue release. I thought this would be helpful to include into this as providing some degree of manual therapy for this muscle can be helpful in a combination with strengthening exercises. So for this partner release, you, the one with the back pain is going to lay on your side. Now you can be on a couch, a table, a bed, whatever. It can work almost anywhere. You're going to put the painful side up. Now to help your partner find this muscle, you can see me demonstrating in the video or or if you're an audio listener, I'll describe. You put your hands on the lower back if the individual is laying on their side and you bring them up towards you until you feel like the muscle disappears. So you apply some pressure, bring it up. When you feel like that muscle disappears, just push straight down now and you're likely gonna be on the QL muscle. So locate the QL muscle, the individual with the pain, raise your leg. The partner should be holding it and assisting you. Push down on that muscle and now allow the leg to lower down and back behind you. It 
is now stretching the QL muscle over your contact. And also it's stretching the outer hip muscles on that same side. I recommend performing this at least 10 times, at least in one session for the best results as this continues to provide a tactile sensation to help stimulate the muscle manually. Manual pressure with stretch does provide a different stimulus than just stretching it alone. There are some instances where manual therapy can be helpful. Now, low back pain is a movement-based problem and needs a movement-based solution. Very rarely is hands-on going to be the difference between someone getting out of pain and not. We know that, and the evidence tells us very, very clearly that education and exercise is the number one treatment for lower back pain. Very rarely will hands-on alone provide a solution. It can be complementary, sure, but education education exercise is number one, but this is a good adjunct to this overall strengthening routine. Hey, real quick, I know you're struggling with pain and obviously want to fix it. So if you just text me the word pain to 317-751-9509, I will send you my free back pain fix demo. Just text that number and you can fix your pain. Thank me later. Back to the show. Exercise number four, I call this our QL rock. This is a little bit of an easier one, maybe for those of you who are more sensitive, but even for those of you who feel very strong and like you're capable of doing more, but you still have pain, this can be very, very helpful for developing neurological control of your low back, of these muscles, of your hips. It can help reduce your pain in many, many ways. So pay attention. To perform this, you're gonna lay on your stomach. Now, all you're gonna do is imagine that that muscle on each side, when one contracts, remember, it attaches from the ribs down to the hip. If it contracts, it's gonna pull that one hip up. If the other one contracts, it'll pull the other one. So I want you to hike your hips back and forth, back and forth, back and forth without moving anything else. So your body's laying completely still, just hike the hips to alternate contracting one at a time. Yes, this is strengthening the muscle in a gentle way. There's not an extreme amount of weight or load. This could be very good for someone who's in a lot of pain, who's just trying to get into strengthening movements. But once again, Many of us with back pain, or even those of us who don't have back pain, we don't have good proprioception around our spine. We have poor control, and the worse control we have in a particular region, the more sensitive our nervous system needs to become to try to figure out where we are in space. So it upregulates all sensitivity for the purpose of trying to find awareness. But if you can restore awareness in a region, then your nervous system can calm down, and your pain sensitivity will go down as well. So with this simple movement, learning how to gain control of your hips, of your lower back, rocking it side to side in ways that you probably never do. It's not only strengthening these muscles, but it's helping you gain awareness and control of this region, which can be so helpful for overall body awareness, overall nervous system sensitivity, and bringing your pain levels down. And laying on your stomach is not the only way that you can do this. You can land your back, of course. You can also hang from a bar and perform this as well. That's obviously gonna be the most difficult. Now the last one, save the best for last. It looks a little bit funky. It's called our butt walk. You're just gonna sit on the ground, keep your legs totally straight, and you're gonna pick one leg up and maybe even one glute up at a time. You're gonna shift it forward and then shift the other one. You're acting like you're walking with your butt or your butt bones, you could say. And you're just gonna go forward, and back. This once again requires QL strength to pick the hip up, bring it forward and alternate. And it also requires proprioception. It requires joint awareness, spine awareness, hip control, all these things that can affect your pain. I know it looks silly. It looks like a cat or a dog with a particular issue but I promise it's pretty effective actually. And sometimes I just throw this in into my workouts as an accessory movement, just to integrate this into my routine because it is a helpful movement. You might get some looks at first, but I promise once everyone else with back pain sees that you no longer have it, they're gonna wanna jump in and join whatever you're doing because they're gonna see you living your best life. So these five movements can help your pain immensely, but there's one more thing I need to bring to your attention and it's extremely important. If you're having any additional referral down into the glute, into the groin, into the front of the thigh, the back of the thigh, down to the calf, the foot or toes, anything like this, if you feel referral down, then chances are very high that this muscle is not the source of your pain. Oh my gosh, I know I just spent all this time talking about this muscle and how it's such a problem. It is a problem in many, many individuals, but many times it's compensating for things. And if you are feeling any type of radiation into the regions that I mentioned, chances are very high 
why a nerve or a disc is involved. Now, what can happen is if a nerve and disc are involved, this muscle will clamp down and will become tight for protective purposes. It will try to reduce movement around the disc or around the nerve to try to protect it. This is your body's way of trying to avoid pain. So strengthening this muscle alone might help relieve some of the tension and you can never go wrong getting strong, but it will not resolve that root issue. And you want to make sure that you're not wasting your time doing movements that aren't the right ones for you. Maybe you've tried some of these movements today and some of them make you worse. Some of them make you better. You likely will need additional movements to complement this to complete the approach. And you want to make sure you're targeting the right thing so you don't guess, waste your time, and live longer in pain than is necessary. So let us help you by giving you a process that's helped our clients get on average 37% reduction in their pain in a single session. And in certain circumstances, completely eliminate their pain within as little as 15 days. This helps you accurately identify what is causing your pain in the exact exercises that you need to do to fix it for your particular situation. And it's called our centralization process. So if you want to dive deeper with me and actually get a structured plan to healing, so you're not guessing on your own, just text me the word pain to 317-751-9509 to get a tailored step-by-step -step plan to permanently fix your back or sciatica issues using our centralization process. Do it right now so you don't miss the opportunity to finally fix your pain and live the life that you deserve. And after you text me, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, join our private Facebook group Rehab Fix Low Back Program for more free content, resources, and guides. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video and I'll see some of you in the program real soon.